Hello, welcome to IF. Today, free money. And what if everyone was rich? We live in a messed up world with an uneven distribution of wealth. Money is said to be the root of all evil, so let's try and negate its power. Let's give everyone the same. What could happen? Back in 2015, Credit Suisse estimated the net worth of the global population as $250 trillion. If we divide that amongst the 7.5 billion people that make up the world's population, then round it up to a nice easy figure, we'd get about $30,000, and that's for each of us. So first we need to, to get this money. We would have to distribute and create a set of rules and guidelines. This in itself automatically creates problems. If the children of the world have this money, they are under guardianship of others. So by default, the guardians would become wealthier than the people without children. We must also consider the elderly and them willing their money to others. Death is also a problem. With 55 million people dying each year, we'd have to find a way to deal with them passing their money onwards. But let's put these issues to one side for the moment and talk about those that are not children or elderly, but working members of a community. Higher earning individuals would see a huge decrease in the amount they are paid for their work. This may see a drop in skilled and high level positions. People less willing to study for many years to become qualified or work long and hard hours for the same gains as others. Bankers, lawyers, doctors, vets, accountants and celebrities would all have their estates liquidated and redistributed to the lower earning individuals. The poor would now have access to those cash assets. The homeless, now having money, may be able to find a place to stay and with that nest egg, get back on their feet. Others may say those poorer people with problems such as addiction would only blow that money again on the very substances they are addicted to again meaning the wealth will become uneven. Herein lies the problem of a capitalist system. There must be those with and those without for it to work. There is no way the concept can function with equality of wealth. This could mean in capitalist countries we would see an economic meltdown. The 2007-2008 financial crisis gave us a glimpse of this the infrastructure would collapse. These banks would have to be emptied to provide and distribute the money to all of the people and this would mean companies would have to liquidate their assets and there would be no security for our financial system. With this system collapsed all business would soon follow. You may well find it difficult to spend your 30,000 now that you have it. So maybe this idea isn't the best idea. It seems if you distribute wealth equally, the planet Earth burns. But we're here to ask if. If the world didn't start ripping itself apart, and if we had to adapt our thinking and our social structures, perhaps it may work. But we'd need to do one thing. We would all have to give up on money. We would have to quit capitalism. So let's say we keep cash and work with a capitalist society. There will always be high earners and low earners, winners and losers. Any other way would mean society cannot function. It is said that in a healthy economy, consumers spend money and create wealth. The money moving up through the society, enriching everyone who is part of that system. In this system, business owners are responsible for paying themselves. Would they want to have that responsibility for the same 30,000 as everyone else? Presumably many of them would try to game the system and hide away more money than they were allowed to earn. We could put a system in place to collect and see the extra profits go to the government. With the government receiving this money, maybe we could stop paying taxes. Instead, the government could run social programs, provide health services, parks, roads, and schools from these contributions. Whoa! I hear the screams of communism echoing through the net. 
But that is not the answer. We have history to thank for teaching us that. A universal maximum wage could be the way forward. Cap the earnings, but again we are introducing inequality to the system. A universal wage is really only workable if everyone is working. Would everyone happily trot off to their 9 to 5, knowing that they could stay home, have a day at the beach, or do any of the million other things we'd rather spend our time doing and still receive the same monetary reward? We would need a way to keep these people in line. Shirkers would have to be fined, publicly shamed, or imprisoned. Hmm, sounds pretty authoritarian. We'd be living in a totalitarian state. We are back to communism, an idea which has been tried unsuccessfully before. Every time communism has been attempted without the backing of a state power, it's failed. This often leading to widespread bloodletting, starvation, and tyranny. Not great. During the Russian Revolution, there was an effort to institute equal wages for everyone. 500 rubles was given to every employee. This idea was abandoned as quickly as possible. In truth, authoritarianism is the only way for radical wealth distribution. But every time people have tried to enforce strict command of an economy with the ideal of equal pay for equal work, it's crashed and burned. Corruption sets in almost immediately. Human nature dictates our society, and people like their stuff. We love it. We love getting more of it, and we hate giving it up. Any efforts to make equally distributed wealth and belongings wouldn't go over well, especially with those who have more. Let's look at a real-world example. Let's get back to the Swiss. In 2013, the Swiss government offered voters a new proposal for creating a maximum wage. A CEO's salary would be capped at 12 times that of the company's lowest wage earner. Swiss voters rejected the proposal for the reasons we have mentioned. They voted that a universal wage wouldn't work. When there's a ceiling, there's no reason to keep growing. They had realized that even when capping a salary, there will still be gaps in society, and over time these gaps will grow. When changing incomes, you are changing value of the money, not changing the values of the society in which said money is being used. The system of equal money for all does away with any incentive to create. It removes any incentive to save, to be frugal, to work hard. Because no matter what you do, what you get is predetermined. In a free market, wealth comes from work. The closer we move towards socialism or communism, the more wealth comes from power. The avenues for becoming richer would not be closed, they would just change. Now, instead of hard work and new ideas paying off, cozying up to those in power could see you thrown a crumb or two. Inequality is indeed an awful byproduct of the capitalist system, but unfortunately, necessary. Until someone comes up with an idea vastly different to those that have been tried before, it may well be the best system we have. So remember to work hard, save when you can, be creative, because that's how we get ahead in this world. Don't wait for handouts and don't expect to be given a free ride. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe. Till next time.